called the Monday, I can't believe it's the middle of July, July 19th, 2021 select board meeting to order. What? I don't know, I don't know what to do. Um, do we have any changes to the agenda? I think I have a couple of notes to. Yeah, got that. Do you have those? The beam road. Yeah. And the uh, and the loan. What is that going? The loan, thousand dollars. Oh, reducing the retainage. Okay. Do you want to move the highway thing till the end, and then I can just leave? <laughs> Be very long. If I, oh, okay. if I was you, I would say do the highway first so I can leave. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too sad. She can stay because we aren't. I mean, everybody's agreed. This is just the lawyer oh. telling us what to do. So gotcha. we're not really, yeah. You're not really doing think. any decisions or no. anything. Like no. that. Oh, okay. So if we do go to executive, you would have to. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we needed to go to executive for it, but I don't even know that we need to do no, that. be equipped. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody agreed. And then we just have to send it to the lawyer and she looked at it. She says, Yeah, everything's cool. And she yeah, said, the 19th. We have to say, Yeah, everything's cool. And then we send it to the lawyer. Good to go. Then, like, yeah. the 27 there, steps. Is there an agenda? I can't get my email to load. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll it. Good. It went to you. <laughs> it, went to you. <laughs> Once it jumped off of mine, it went to yours. Yeah, so okay. Good. 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 <laughs> I got mine finally working tonight, and then it must have jumped it over to yours. Yeah, so. maybe randomly chooses who, yeah, who it doesn't want to work for. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I read it all. Does it say connected to what? It does. I have all little bars. I Good. Let me know if you figure it out. Okay. Okay. You don't have a meeting with Allie. I, I was going to. She, she, she has a magic touch. She with does. It. Yes, mm -hmm. she does. Okay. Um. Let's see. Do it. Ron, do we have every, anyone on? One. Any public comment? Anyone here? Uh, Green Mountain Access is on the G yeah. for their video and live streaming on YouTube tonight. Uh, the caller oh, is not identified. Okay. They can identify or not. Okay. Um, it's Allie. Oh, oh it's Allie. I thought it was Allie. Okay. <laughs> you can just stamp on the floor if you wanted to. So when you open it, they'll start live streaming. Okay. Or maybe they have. They, won't do they should, right. Okay, we're open. Okay, <laughs> so we don't have any. Um, Which one's the email? Ron, do we need for the for the contract, do we need to go into executive? Uh, I mean, I can you give a little the, uh... Hey. Sorry, we can't get it to work either. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're good now. Sorry. Okay. So it's a short report on the union contract that the town attorney had no significant changes. And it's if you the board's good with keeping forward, then we go to the union for their approval. So I'll send it to them tomorrow. Right. We'll then we'll know. This is just sort of all the steps that after you agree you have to go through so that the whole world officially knows you agree, I guess, is how contracts work. So do we need a motion or just no no just okay. a, it's a process just process okay all right so we know that's going okay see that would work right <laughs> let's see we've got uh, three sets of, of minutes to review and approve we're going to get through all these yet uh, i actually got to look at the list but i spent the last 40 minutes doing yeah there, 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 there you go right so it's what it's june 30, 30th, 21, 21 and 29. 29, yeah. So everybody looked at them, got any changes? No, I saw I looked at them, it's all right for me. Yeah. Okay, motion to approve. So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor, 55 by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Um. The memo on the assistant town clerk, the end of probation. I think that that's in your packet. Mm -hmm. I think that's at the end. Yeah, yeah, right. Keep going and you'll get to the memo. Give me the letter. Okay. 
Is there a date on Kim's memo? I just see it's been on the top. I look at, oh, okay, yes, uh, the 14th. And it's right at the end. It's before that. Oh, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I have Rolly, have you have you has everybody seen it? I read it. Yeah. yeah. I know Kim's very happy. I it appears that she's sorry. someplace in here somewhere along the line. Once we were starting to get open, I, I stopped in. I think it was while Kim was gone. I stepped in to pick something up and I had a had the opportunity to read the first time I had a really long chat with her. Um and it was great. She's got a lot of energy and she's very interested in, um, you know, this whole Lister issue that we're having and somebody in the office and learning and being part of that. She is very interested in learning how to do that. Oh, nice. Um, which, and we sort of got this year now that in between, um, and I think that would, I think that would be wonderful. Plus we go, back to when we came up the total amount of money for this position part of it because part of the job was to be um, to help do that listing stuff and then COVID came up and nobody could get trained or do anything for anything um but now we've we've gotten through that the world is getting back to normal and we have an assistant town clerk and treasurer who is very interested in learning how to do that and and being the backup for payroll so Emily can actually take a vacation and getting all that stuff done. And um, she's, she, um, uh, as, as Kim talked about here, she sits there looking for work to do. So she's just, um, she's a really is a terrific asset to the, to the staff. So. I think Kim's recommendations make lots of sense, and the one-time bonus is a nice thing to give her. So, now, was she hired? Tell me if I'm incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> You're definitely yeah. incorrect. Who was before? <laughs> Who was? Kristen. 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 Yeah. Kristen. Kristen was hired 32 and 8. Well, we never was 32 and 8, it was, it was 34 and 6, but it was some combination. There. Right. right. Now, is this new lady hired the same way? Yes. So, 8 or 6. Same, and as I was just saying, see, she's really interested in learning all that stuff mm -hmm. and being back up for Allie and everything. So, she's, she's like, just start teaching me. So I think it's going to work out fine. Well, well, the the, the, the eight or six, which everyone would want to argue, was in the Lister's office, not Allie's office. Well, correct. Correct. Right. Okay. Right. Right. So I, I think we may finally have a match. And since the whole thing with the Lister's and the appraisers is everything has mm -hmm. gone through so much this year, but as I say, we've got the we've got the year. Um, that we have to get her all trained up and ready to go. I think all this famous last words, I should never say this. Hopefully things will work out fine. <laughs> they will. It's, 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 been, it's been tough, but she just, she has a, I, I don't know if any of you have had a chance to stop in the office, but she's uh, she's terrific. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she, really, she really is. I got to meet her real briefly today, not to introduce, but right. I just I came to the door and she, <clears throat> It's educated uh, come in. Who the hell are you? <laughs> no, she didn't say that. No. I'll make that clear. She was, she was very nice. And, uh, and so, uh, anyways, and all of a sudden I saw see Ron's head duck down and try to hide there. Oh, <laughs> uh, so you caught him, right? <laughs> so, 
any of those. So I'm I guess I'm making yeah. motion to accept this as proposed by Kim. Second. Okay. Need any more discussion? Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Center Road Culvert. The bane of our existence. Perhaps <laughs> we, we, we've got some information on that. And the wizard here figured it out. Oh, oh the wizard. I want to hear what they come up with first. Oh, good. Good. Uh, a couple things. One, uh, when we last left you, there was a, so a request from Percy that we hired him and tell, write up a report and tell Percy what's wrong with that culvert. And I think that's implying that if the engineer wrote up a game plan, that Percy would do the whatever the engineer came up with. Select board said, no, let's check around first. So we called VTRAN, Jim Coda and his crew, and he passed it up and down their chain of experts or whatever. And we went back with photos and we went back with some email correspondence we had with Percy. So they had all the information that you all have. And they said, hire your town attorney and see what they say. No, there, was no, there was no technical advice. It was a go to your town. You have, basically have a contract dispute. You know, they, they were walking away from it, basically. You know, they didn't want to get in the middle. So it's fine. So the next step was just talking again out there and looking at the culvert took a video just for sure and looked at the the potholes on the northbound lane which are back again with all the rain but the, the road's not slumping it's five or six potholes from tires on a yeah, it's not soft it's like the shirt back millings or whatever that they use the southbound lane is perfectly fine it has been stable so if you look into the outlet end of that culvert that about 11 feet in is where a ponding starts. And it, that continues for about another eight feet, which is 19 feet total from the outlet end on a 20 foot culvert. So that puts you right at that first joint on the western side. Of, I think it's three lengths of 20, so maybe 60 feet long. Mm -hmm. So at that point, they, they messed up on the installation just slightly. So basically what happened is when they laid the first two pipes on the east side of the road or on the inlet side, it's all good. You could look down that pipe and it shoots nice gray, nice and dry, water's passing. It's not the best inlet treatment. They just kind of threw some big rocks around it, which is the second issue, but we're not, we're not raising that because I think they did the same thing on all the culverts so through there. That last 20 foot section is, if it's not flat, it's slightly raised. So you don't have a negative grade to carry that water through from that last 20 feet section. So that's where the elevation of that outlet is slightly higher than that joint. Maybe it's an inch or two, I don't know, but it creates a low point. So water will pass, you can see right through it. It's not gonna clog up with water debris or anything like that. It's the, the function of that 24 inch culvert is about the same except for that little 24 24 yeah what is it 36 18 oh 18 18 it felt bigger when i was looking at it but anyway whatever the size is that last section has a uh, a risk to it because that rate of that joint is where the elevation of that pipe chain is now if you have a joint problem where you have such a angle you're going to create a void and water will run out or if you're in a really wet, wet soil water will run in so we're not really sure about that but we all we know that, that bonding of that eight foot long pond that's in there has not really changed every time i've looked at it it's, it's in exactly the same situation the road's not slumping so it makes me think that if it was eroding at that mark of 20 feet where the water would generally come out of the, out of the joint You'd have a lot of erosion and activity coming out either under the pipe at the outlet end, or you'd have erosion showing that uh, southbound lane drop. Now, so I think we're talking we talk about two things: the, the erosion on the northbound lane from poor packing and water and traffic creates those potholes problems, 
And if you let it go long enough, you're not going to have any dirt in there. You're going to end up with a big hole. It's like again. Again, it'll, it'll keep happening until the top picks up. And it's just like you get with this ring. There's enough potholes in there where you wake up when you hit them, and that's the maintenance problem related to that hot mix environment. So what's the resolution? Setting that pipe at the right elevation and getting a negative grade so the water gets out of there, which would stabilize that joint so there's no pressure on it because of the different angles. That would fix it. Is it so much that we're going to dig that pipe up and basically upset that south hot lane, which is in good condition right now, and start over again with compaction before pipe gets here in August? Well, can't we uh, can't we just dig the the east side of it to to the to the cult to the uh, Join. See a problem there? Yeah. Do you see a problem there? To, just to the joint, you know what I mean? Uh, on the west side to the joint, you mean the 20 feet? Uh, no, we dug the east side out. Yes. I don't see a problem. So What's that? You don't? No. The east side, the east side is on the the inlet side, right? Right. Oh, mm -hmm. is that what you're looking at? The in the inlet side. What's gonna What's gonna happen? Which I did the other day. Yeah. The water has got underneath that. Oh. I moved. I moved the rocks. I moved the rocks here, and the water got underneath that culvert. There was two other guys there to see it. Getting. What happened? I think on that coming in from the other east side, side. The east side, east side, east side, east side that it's right. void underneath that culvert that that culvert is the culvert might be strong enough, enough to hold up the, 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 the one itself the, eventually so you look up there now and you got you got you know he's looking and, like and i took the rocks out there and i had a funny feeling that's what was happening i didn't take yeah. the rocks yeah. the first time so i was up here yeah like i should have once over uh, you know, I've seen this before. Then, you, you can know, actually you see, watch the water, water watch the mud, the water, 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 the the water, 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 the hundred percent neither yeah, that's, right. that's that's, that's the shooting the pond. you know eighty percent that that eastbound lane is washed out and don't take much water to wash out to get underneath the culvert. Yeah, keep and you look at that yeah, picture right washing, there right. keep yeah. washing that's the outlet <clears throat> it, it almost, the better pictures here it almost the appears right to me that they yeah. they didn't set that culvert low enough and they put rocks up there to camouflage it no no, the the state is telling you you're putting them rocks in the inlet side and in on the outlet side. Yeah, but after you, that's the after water you, mitigation. Yeah, but after you blow ditch level, what's that? Yeah, right, a low ditch. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta you put it in the ditch level. Yeah. They'll bring them right up to the top of the culvert, the inlet of the bottom no, of the culvert. Okay, talking about the bottom of the culvert needs to be below the ditch line, so it can. Captures the yeah. water. Well, yeah. And this not this, this sits higher. The bottom of this culvert sits higher than the ditch yeah. level. Bottom of the ditch. But <laughs> well, that's the picture. Did you all right. see that picture? He, he looked, yeah. yeah. And I explained you. You had another one there showing the ponding better and, and from the other direction. Yeah. And and right so he was able to see it. I don't yeah. know if. Oh, is that yeah? Yeah. You yeah. see where it's ponded. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, but see that that's better. just. I, I don't think yeah, she saw yeah. I don't think that's not I think that's just them culverts are plastic and they do squash a little bit. Sure. You know, it's not but this this right here is a problem. When you put the camera on the outlet side and take a picture on top of the culvert like this, you should see that whole hole on the other side. Right. And that culvert is the top of it. And something. That's right. Right there. Yeah. And that's the way the state, when they inspect their culverts, they look at the top and they will want to look right straight through to the other side, but they can't, they won't pass them, I know. So if you're in a spring. Well, that makes sense, right? I mean, you should be able to. Yeah, you, yeah. See, you can see through it, it depends on the camera angle. But yeah. the, the issue of having multiple problems there is something that 
might in order to turn in order to go anywhere with this information. Yeah. You're not going to have a, a cell phone from Roland or Ron or Mark French. Well, that's be, right. You have to elevate it a little bit. So, what do you? What do we do? Do we? I think what we talked about the other day. I think that's something to start with. Is to dig on that eastbound side for the back one, go down there and see what the bottom of that looks like. Mm -hmm. so, well, as soon as you upset that, you're going to run into legal problems. Well, that's what I'm saying. You can't. You can't go that far without. Figure out the legal first. So we have a contract yeah. with Percy. Yeah. One year warranty. We have already expressed we have a problem with that folder. Give him a pass on everything else. Well, I mean, it's a warranty. Is that an agreement? I would, come I would say it? that, that, that they want to get on top of it and get on it. Even if they got a contract. Well, they, didn't, they, they already refused your request. Yeah. So you got to, yeah. they're, they're asking for us to elevate the request with our own engineering inspection. Yeah. The other alternative, which we thought of, was engaging the town attorney, just like VTran said, and figuring out how to establish the warranty rights and solve the problem and meet the paving schedule. Right. But okay. you, like I say, you got to do it's a two two fold thing. You got to uh, establish what's wrong with it, and then you've got to get it fixed so you can you can meet your paving. Exactly. Well, we're coming to a tight. Potentially, it could be first. Right. No, no. But you know what? We wanted to pack. Let, let, let me ask this question: What is going to cost us for engineers? What right. is it going to cost right. us for town right. attorneys right. and stuff? Let's go dig that goddamn collar to fix it right and put it back together. And next time uh, uh, beds go out, we know who not to get a bed from. Yeah. I mean, it's a time. Fix a damn thing. And we have the ability to do that. Well, it's our culvert at this point. No, no, no. I mean, oh. literally, do we have the ability? To do that? Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Guys out there with that. That's yeah. That culvert's not that deep. Yeah. I yeah. Know. I think so, but I'm just. Smallish I'm, right. right. How you do you just as Dave just said? The church gets a kid for everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not exactly. only money, it's time. Yeah. 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 Which is yeah. Worth it. I'm mostly concerned with the paving contract. So yeah. There, right. You'll have. How do you want to think about phone calls? <laughs> it doesn't happen this year. Probably <laughs> shut the road. But I still would advise to, because Percy is liable under that contract, and you want to have a good legal decision making process here, even for a bid next year, just to establish what happened and what the town's going to do about it, and give Percy one more chance that here, here's what we're doing. You have 10 days to respond, or we're moving right. forward. Yeah. Do we yeah. even want to, I mean, it's something like that. It's, we don't to cost us that much. But yeah, it's not going to cost, yeah, cost us that much talking to the town attorney to figure out the right process to go through. And you're right, it's better. Then we've got it, you know, and then say, okay, here's what we're doing. We've called our lawyer, here's what we're doing. We know it has to be fixed. Yeah. If, if I think want. at one time or another, I'll talk about it. That's, well, it's, gonna, it's only going to get worse if it did. Right? Yeah, it's not going to fix well, it. Well, it will in big rainstorms, heavy, heavy rain. Well, well that's what about yes? risk to the road. All the rain we got yesterday. We were up there. <coughs> yeah. Oh, the, I was, I was yeah. there. Oh, that's what I was looking up. at. That's oh, that to check out. That's perfect time to look at yeah. it. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could, we could very easily, not low expense to the town to establish what we're doing, <laughs> give them a time frame, give them a chance, and then just do it ourselves. I think, I think that makes sense. It's always better to check with the town attorney because then we're wherever we end up. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Yes, Yesterday, 139. So you did say. No, no, no Percy will understand what we're doing too from a business side of mm things. -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want to, I, I want to take away the opportunity that he might see the light and do it. Yeah. yeah. Right. True. Sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Or that I think it's they. I think there's a cooperative ownership over there. It's not he. It's first. Yeah. Yeah. I had that uh, up on Bliss Hill once. But it does sound. I had a really short conversation with uh, Dick Grogan today, and he his recommendation is when the town is involved with significant projects, you need to have somebody on site. We do all the time. Not. Hit or miss. We have nobody inspecting that before payment. All we had was specs and the contract and the trust and the 
contractor, which is almost all our projects are done. Really? Well, we can't. Mark can't not work just hanging around. Looking so, at you know, you run the risk even on this paving project. Oh, you know, the, the million dollar paving project. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work involved in that project, and we don't have anybody dedicated to watch all that work. So, some of it is trust on most of it's going to be trust on the contractor to do the right thing and call us when they have an issue versus right. move on, you know, move through it. Which I'm sure is what most particularly small towns do. Yeah, so there's a threshold, is what Dick was saying. There's a yeah. threshold where you get just complicated enough or just enough money where you want to put that little bit extra in for somebody to be there. Of course, that's what his, his on-call job duty yeah. is too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it makes sense for me, right. the time we spent on this one culvert, right. you, you start to chew away yeah. at the cost of having somebody there to, to sniff test it when they're doing it and make sure it looks good and make sure the inlet's done the right way. So we don't we didn't check any of those culverts yeah. along the center road. Uh, I think we were there for some of the culverts, but I can't tell you if every inlet was looked at to make sure it matched the bottom of the ditch line. Right? But they all look like good they except that. So it's really it's something to kind of really think about a little bit more on those bigger whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Here, the different right. It's not the normal course of stuff. Yeah, not right, right, not the regular stuff. So let's. If we have a motion to uh, right. contact the town attorney to yeah. review the contract briefly, not spend a lot of time on it, write a letter to Percy, give them so many days to reset that culvert. I think both ends uh, need to be looked at, the inlet and the outlet. I would say have them give them a call. We don't have time for mail. I was going to say, and yeah. the time should be like five days. Wouldn't they start paying that? I mean, well, we don't I know. I won't give us a date yet. They said maybe August, hopefully August, I think is their term. Hopefully. First of August? Right. Hopefully well, that's, you in don't know. August. Maybe we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. They don't know. They, they said they're getting messed up with the weather. I'm yeah. sure. A little bit. Uh, but yeah, like by August 1st would be a date for Percy to get it done. Yeah. Because we can't predict the pike schedule in August. Right, right. And it's the 19th now. Oh, so that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some compaction if we have to dig it up, we want to see some compaction of it to, uh, so that it won't. Well, you do, if you do it right at six inch lifts, you shouldn't have any problem. Well, they didn't do it. I, 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 I know they don't. And, and what they first they had was just a pancake. They, they didn't have it. Uh, if, if it was compacted on both sides, culvert. And if it was compacted in six inches lifts going up through like this, that should not have con uh, squashed okay. out like this. Okay. So then as you get it up here, then you put your next layer on and start compact. You keep your compaction going on the right, on the right and left side of it. And then as you, as you bring it in here, so you don't squash that down on the other part. It, it was compacted six, six inches to compact. That's what a six inch lift is. Yeah. That's what he said. It's supposed to be. We don't know what they did. Yeah, okay, we, right. we know what the right way is. Yeah. We don't know what exactly what they did. That was in the spec, it's in the contract. And there's nothing unusual about what we wanted them to do. It's just we don't know what they did do to cause that much. But upon, upon excavating it, you can get some sort of an idea about how easy it is to move the, the stone right. in the front, the compaction. Yeah, you'll see, you'll see erosion if you do it slow enough, especially if it's right under the pipe. Because the culverts that I watched them put in. Up above the house, I can't say it was six inches. I want to say it's more than a foot, and I can't test it. But the only thing I had was a pancake damper. They, they the square, just a little. Yeah. 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 And if you put more than six inches, and in, it's not going to go through nine yeah. to twelve inches. Right. right, right. There's enough force there. It's quicker. Okay. Well, we have a plan. We'll see what happens. There's always something that just seems to be impossible. <laughs> that work, that's how I planned you, Roly. That I'd go up there and pick it up, get it done. Do it. The southern ship, by the time you get done with it, it's about get her back into two weeks and get it done. And now we're going to end up doing it, doing it ourselves, anyways. Huh? We well, are. Yeah. I think we're going to right, right. And and that's Ron, Ron will just check. It doesn't, it doesn't have to take a lot of time. I think it's much just finding out, okay, what is it? Percy has already said no. Yes. 
they don't we can go that. ahead, yeah, but given the opportunity, I'd say have the lawyer call them so that we aren't dealing with the mail, but get our guys ready to do it. Yeah, to reiterate and, what and you said, give, first, give the, Percy the logistical matter of two days to respond so that next week right. they could do to it. establish the legal 10 days. We want to establish the it legal rights to right. have an existing not going to do it. how we deal with the Percy bid next year, potentially. So we have a good foundation for why we're not accepting or not awarding potentially. But also within that warranty period, if we find something that's totally like we're not going to find it, but we found something on the contract that you totally did not do properly. The attorney might have some damages claims potentially for our, to recover our cost. But we have to document everything really well. There's a way to go about it to, to assess a claim rather than just ask them to do it. We've been harmed. What's the what's the compensation in the contract? That's beyond what I can tell you, but I know it's there. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, okay. we're being forced if we had the all time in the world, we, we keep going back with Percy potentially, and but we don't have the time. Right? And like what Dave said, it depends how much uh, taxpayer dollars we want to put into it to uh, to establish. Yeah, that. I think so. I think there's a there's definitely a whole bunch of competing factors here that we wait. Now I'm, I'm going to open Pandora's box here. Oh, oh, here we go. I thought you already did. But I've been <laughs> told by three contractors in the know, not do it yourself for contractors, but if we don't join that road, it's going to be right back to where it is within three years. That road has broke up this last summer so bad. I don't know if just because I've got my eye fixed and I can see the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> or what? That may be. <laughs> it is alligated every square inch up through there. And this guy that I was talking to has built probably more roads than anybody around here. Said that it's too cracked up and too many potholes and too many shims and stuff. Oh, yeah. Just the top go. He says, You're going, if you ground, ground that, he says, you're going to get 10 more years out of that road. I was trying to convince uh, Mark French and Pike early on. This is where we're trying to come up yeah. with the plan. I did a little class on emulsion sealing, which is like crack sealing. Yeah, and, so, and they have a very specific window of time for your pre paving treatments. So everybody in Vermont used to the two inch overlay and maybe four inches or two less. What people aren't used to is looking at that base, not in the total reclaim where you're digging up the road starting over. That's an easier. Right. One. Yeah. It's what do you do in between where you have alligator cracking potholes. Uh, do you do you actually spend the money to and there's a there's a window which I think is what Dave was talking about where the crack ceiling it's not too extreme this is before it gets to all the you know, yeah. potholes and things that you do get the five to ten years extra life by spending another couple thousand dollars a mile it's really not that expensive to crack seal those things because you immediately get down in those cracks and you have a base that's kind of patched together yeah. But you're not creating voids and you're not creating that immediate reflection yeah. after the you're not sure you see you go across the state and you look at all these black snakes oh that's yeah. okay that's what yeah. that is but that's this right. way you put those in yeah. and then you cover it it's right. amazing now group 15 right they're milling that down he's almost three or four inches yeah. I don't know yeah. it, but they're not going to do eight inches they're trying to get through the worst stuff which is all the potholes and things but the thick they may not have solved the base problem but the thick is Blacktop on that road is three inches. Right from Marshall's Dairy to the to, to, uh, Wings. You know, and, and so you went up there with, with a, a machine, you know, and, and just three inches and put it right back onto it. I think you're going to have a lot better road for a lot longer. So, so what, what is the current plan? It's two old, two old old two. Board decided that before the bid went up. Two old there's a the other is it three inches consistent or is it a, a different section with more? Any place we look is between two and a half and three inches to gravel. To gravel. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, the person used the uh, phrase be just like putting perfume on a pig. <laughs> it's gonna smell good for three days. 
Well, that's I such a Vermont term. <laughs> but I'm struggling. Why, why should they put all this money into it knowing in three years it could be the same way? And be the theory down from there. Yeah, the cheapest option is to is to do the crack sealing. And the next option is milling is not going to be milling, it's going to be grinding. So milling is where you, you, you don't get all the way through the pavement, right? You do the surface and you try to reshape it and clean it up a little bit. But what Dave's talking about is actually going to be the re reclaiming and leaving it in place, which isn't all that expensive, actually. I think we did that on uh, we did milling on East Main Street. The whole road was thirty. $40,000. Well, you, you, you just well, know where your road, road. and look how good that state is one. Right? Yeah. They, didn't they know that? Well, they grinded it. They grinded everything up. <laughs> but they took a black off. Yeah. Yeah. Put it right back on. I agree. Yeah. Right back on. If you remember right, this is what we started. That was the original plan. That was the original plan. Well, it was a 10 inch. I don't, I don't know Dave's talking about just doing the top three inches. It's still better than what they're doing. Yeah, I think we've got base enough if, if you just took that three inches off. But that's that's what they're telling you to do now is to put the gravel on top of the black. But you're still, if you ground the black top the way it is right now, yeah. you're still better off than you are paving away. Oh, yeah. If it's one fall, it, it Stands to reason if you put something on top of something that, that is not sufficient, it's going to fall in front. You build a house on a hundred year foundation, right? Okay, how's yeah. the build a house on a hundred year foundation? Well, for for some reason or other, that we, we made the decision last year that that's what we wanted to do, correct? Right. Well, we started with the bigger project, which was the 10 inch replay, right. all the way down, reshape, come back up, and it was way expensive. At that right. Point. This is modified of that. This is less, this they basically take a milling machine to do three inches. Even if there's a little bit more pavement, they'll still stop at that three inches. Yeah. They'll hit gravel, they'll come out of gravel, they'll fill, but you'll have a good base material to pave over for the four inches. That will last longer. Obviously, when you do extra work like that, you only do it to make the road last longer. I don't know if a, a straight up only fill job, crack fill, which would be the cheapest, would. I don't know if they could would work any it would work at all. You know what I mean? If they're not too far. Yeah. I think it's too far for that yeah. that option. If you had a good maintenance plan every 10, 12 years and you only had a few cracks, that's what we're trying still to do. Fill the notes if yeah. you only had a few. Yeah. Right. But there you got a crack. You can what, see what happens when it cracks. Water gets in the winter and it freezes. Right. So it freezes it it stands, right. Then right. you crack and still like that. It's like yes. Right. It's so a, we can plan to do the ceiling, this crack ceiling in the future? No, it's a, it's a condition assessment. So if the road is in relatively good condition, but it's due to be overlaid because it's part of a re regular plan and you have, let's say, 20% crack in it less, then you might do the ceiling because you want to make sure those little cracks are filled in and you're starting You ain't have enough sealer to seal that road. Not right now. <laughs> That's not what we're calling it. No. Chastity center is in the 80% or more crack. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like close to 100. Yeah. Some roads, we, if we actually get ahead of it, might be in that condition of do you right. let that two inch crack stay there and just pull two inches over it? I don't think that works either. You don't want to fill that up and then put your two inches. Right. But it's in this case, you're into a milling and not a re. Full reclaiming yeah. is something we didn't budget for that to bring gravel in. That's right. That's that's a, basically a brand new road. No, I think milling, you know, say three inches. If you have to leave a half an inch, you're still going to be better than leaving three inches of track, right? Right. Right. Ready to get back right. into the base. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other option it's is to way. tell them to grind down it's through the. It's the only way to do it. But not to. Do There's it. another way to do it. Put some gravel on top of that, grind everything up. At least. Grind in the block. But if the base is good, you'll be getting good gravel. You don't need to add gravel if you have a good Well, they're just going to grind up the black off anyway. If it's four inches thick, that's what they're doing. They're going down four inches, and that's it. Yeah. They're not going to get into the gravel. But I don't think there's anything on there more than three inches, really. I agree. 
anything anything we, we've looked at. Take the grader up there and grade it around. Susan, did you see it? You've been up there lately? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe how much it was just a winter time. This year, it, it really, we've had the cracks and the potholes, but this year, it's really elevated. Yeah. Yeah. I think the word is fail. I think yeah, somebody's going to the shovel and, and just loosen it. I'm not saying we'll go after roll, but I mean that's a, that's how bad it is. A, you start at your house, yeah. I'll start at mine. We'll meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> that's right. Hyde right. Park original country and western coming here. Right. I, I um, okay. So <laughs> So for everybody that's tried to follow this conversation out there, what's what's the current plan? So we're going to take care of the culverts, but that part one way or the other. Then when they come in, currently, what are they supposed to be doing? Uh, two two overlays of two inches, total of four okay. inches mm -hmm. new asphalt. And you're suggesting that we do something different. I'm suggesting you get that old blacktop off that. Right. Okay. Due, due to the expansive amount of damage yeah. just happened well, yes, that's since happened. Last, oh, this last, last year. year. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, just past one year. Dave, that was there last year. No, just, no, no, right. it, no, it really, it really is worse because I, we have friends up there, so I'm on the not going to pull it down, but this is just to take the pavement off, take the top off, and then you'll end up reclaiming, grading, and smoothing, and compacting anyway. But mm -hmm. Going down 10 inches of bringing gravel to a spec is a little bit more money, I guess. More more time. More money. You know, didn't somebody say that they talked to Ken Harvey and certain sections of that was redone at one point anyway? So there's a good base in some of that anyway. Oh, yeah, all the way from my house up, it's all the way from the bottom of what we call Hart's Gravel Hill there, starting up by Edwards. That's all that's going to have four foot of gravel in it. So let's get rid of what's bad, the, the, the pavement is there, let's get rid of it. Or not rid of it, but mill it. Get oh, it back. Right. Grind it. I'm sorry. Grind it. There's a difference. Yeah. Grind it up, and then They're lay, it, it, you know, lay it back down, and uh, and then compact it, and then pave over that. We didn't know that we were going to get that bad from last year to this yeah. year. Yeah, it was tremendous. But we we need to. Um, <laughs> But we can't but just do that. Remember the ten inch reclaim two years ago, I think. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, I know you said two right. years ago, but I'm telling you that road has broke up this year terrible. Worse, <laughs> worse than it was. What are you saying, Roland? Right. Right. Want to change color? Get that done. Right. Bottom line. Well, how much more expensive is that? And is that possible? Oh, you have to send a note to Pike. And you gotta, you gotta. But is that, is that over here? Yeah. Well, they would find the contract, so I, I, I have to think about whether you want to go out to bid again to, to get a grinding bid, or whether you want to ask Pike to change the contract. I, I would say this year I just asked Pike for a change. Let's see what they come back with. See, yeah. it's within. We have, we already have reasonable dollars to fix that thing. Yeah. They won't get away. Outrageous. But that's not a grinding machine, any. So Pike can't do it. Pike's got a great machine there over there. They ground it all out up there. They ground it all to jail. What? It? What it's, it's, it's a big enough. I'm, what I'm saying, Roland, is a big enough project that you would have a have to get quotes and bids to get somebody other than Pike. Well, um, that's what I'm saying. That everybody would have a chance to bid on. Yeah, you could do that. No, that's 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 good. So you think it should go out to bid? Well, then we're talking about time. Well, yeah, then we're that's right. Then we're talking about well, time. That, 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 that would be kind of a bit. Except the bit. If somebody could be a little bit higher, but they can do it in two weeks. If somebody's yeah. lower, they can't do it for two months. You would you would bring that into your consideration. Yeah. You might want to get in between the two weeks, like Dave said. In between the two weeks, you, boys get up there and get that cover done. Yeah. So you think anybody really can do the work time, right yeah. now? Yeah. Right. It's really about time. So Pike would have control of the schedule. Mm -hmm. if, if you award a grinding project to Hutchins or Ganache or somebody, then it's going to be on their schedule. If they can't meet it, do they get a delay, which messes up pipes. So it's a little bit of a 
Yeah. Well, you know, make, make well, that we, part of the we, we put it. Yeah, that's right. And they can't get this whole bit on it if they can't do it. Right. In that time period, the time frame. They can't do it. Oh, that'd be part of the bid. It has to be done by August yeah. 18th or whatever. Yes. Disaster coming on. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be a disaster if we don't. But the bad that road is in there, You're going to spend a lot of the taxpayer money before it's just throw it away. I'm feeling battle row all over again. <laughs> We can help you with your emotions too. That's what you did with Battle Road. You ground, you ground that all up there by Audetzel. And look what we went through getting there. <laughs> well, that's oh, why you get the big money. God, that's it. That's that's it. That was it. That's it. That's why I'm getting the big money. Okay. Okay. So you got what we're doing, Ron? Yeah. Okay. And and he can. Good job opening the box. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't so hot bad. Wasn't it? It. Close yeah, it up I'm now. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> my, my, get, get your fingers out of the way. <laughs> no sense of putting. No, right? No, you're right. Might, might be that way. As, long, as long as we can get it done. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I just don't know how people are going to be well, looking for work in the middle of July. What's going on? I'd say even, the, even, even the ground road will be smoother than hell. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah. No, you're right. Then, then you got the, uh, the other end. That was supposed to be done four years ago. On the Marshall side? Yeah. yeah. The culverts underneath that road down there, the yeah. drum center all gone. Yeah. yeah. Let them worry about that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. They want to keep up with the Germans. <laughs> okay. Excavator. The new updated matrix? Yeah, the new matrix. And we have recommendations from Highway and Brian. Okay. Mark was trying to settle on recommendations. We do? Okay. We didn't. Uh, no. We didn't write it up. There's still work. But I, I do talk to Mark today. He was still chatting with Brian about it when I saw that. No, I, have, I haven't uh, talked to him about it. And I, I asked him to do that, to give his recommendation on it. Uh, and I was hoping he was going to base it solely off the um, the matrix, but um, I guess they went and visited different places and looked at different uh, excavators and stuff. And if we could have narrowed it down to, to excuse me, three, yeah, and then had the excavator come to us based on the matrix, yeah, I think it would have saved the town some money and some time. But uh, that was the intent I thought was to uh, then bring it to the pit and have them. Try it there to make sure it's going to do what it's going to do. It yeah. needs our needs. Get it out on the road. Just do some things in the kitchen. Yeah. Fix the culvert. Fix the culvert. Fix the culvert. That was out of the way you want to go with, with this. But uh, Mark told me today that their one, two, three was Bobo, Cat, and Case. The what? The one, two, three, the Bobo, Cat, and Case. Preference. Volvo's first cat second. So um <laughs> he looked confused. If there's a lot of typically if there's a lot of discrepancy in the bids, you're still not sure, you do one of two things. You bring those three in for like a round table discussion, they just hash it, hash it out in front of each other. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> you're better off to make a decision. Or, or you or you start to talk to Volvo about the issues that you all have. So can it operate on a single lane, small dirt road without blocking? Oh yeah, I can. I'm just saying those are so how do you how you go from here is sort of up to you. The uh capital well the boys are happy with Volvo. Yeah, Volvo was I know I know I'm looking for my bids here, but I know that Hyundai was about thirty thousand dollars cheaper. And I know what was said, so I'm not going to go there, but we got to talk about it as board. To, if we got $30,000, you can say, what do you want to do? You know? Yeah, and that, that, may, that may be the same as saving $30,000 on the road and you end up paying $50,000 down the road. <laughs> Just think. Yeah, it's something to think about. Yeah. You got a local purchase. Well, they did, they did say that they right. spent. They did say they spent plenty of time with the local person and the salesman, and they couldn't answer questions. 
they were not they were not comfortably explaining all the details of the piece of equipment. Well, if this person's got a sandbox, right? Up yeah, they two miles from here. Yeah, you could. If you want the low bid, right, is the Hyundai. We had Volvo the next lowest. So okay, one thirty-seven eight eighty-one. But it's for the Honda. One thirty-seven. The one thirty-seven yeah. eight eighty-one. Yeah. Yeah. See it right there. If you can see it with your new light bulb. <laughs> can you can you make it a little smaller? <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> and then okay. Uh, What's oh, the one seventy. One seventy. But a lot of those numbers are just now, it, was, it said it's I've got an email from you. You said something about they rebid the John Deere or something. What was the deal with that? I remember reading something about that. Yeah, they had an updated price and added in an option that they previously didn't include because that was 193, I'm thinking. Yeah, 197 is 197. I said, holy moly, is that gone? So I'm fine with the bowl, but I'm just saying. Myself, I we had Volvo run a Volvo down to the shop, very good machine. I know Mark made a comment about parts, I'm not going to say the name, I know the story behind that, and I have never had trouble with CR Woods getting parts. Okay. It's just like everybody else, they don't have everything on the shelf, mm -hmm. you have an order every once right. in a while. Especially right it's now. Not, it's not their fault. It's just the way it is. Yeah, you know, that's the way it goes now. I can't but imagine. I'm, 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 interior donors. I'm just as happy with the with the Volvo that they are. And I'm just now, as, has anybody, any local contractors really got uh, one of these high on these? The what? Any of the local contractors? What? Got a high on Honda? Yeah. Um, I don't know if Pete's got one or not. Did Mark say it? I hey. remember Mark saying something. Yeah, I don't remember what it They was. couldn't come up with one or something to try help. But am I wrong on that? I don't know what the answer is. Uh, I don't. I know he was concerned about the money. I won't say what him and I was discussed, but, um, you know. Um, they don't sell home, they do they? Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. I don't think they could meet Hyundai. all the criteria or whatever that they wanted. I think that's what it was. Well, then that would eliminate it. <laughs> well, that's yeah. you know you're you know that's why you're at one thirty whatever it was. You're right, right, you right. Know, and you know now did they give you a on the Volvo? Did they give you a time? Slot, or is it going to be a year and a half out, or is it going to be well, one month out, or six weeks out? Or? I mean, having a having a recommendation from highway is one thing. The other one is all of that. So you have uh, call it the uh, the full cost of a piece of equipment. Okay, right. You know what are the what are the five hundred hour maintenance costs? What's what's the value at the end? You could have a hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollar piece of equipment that's worth fifty in ten years, whereas a bowl might only. No, I agree. So you have to look at the full cost. So if you're if you don't have those answers, but I didn't see it there. We don't. We didn't is get that, that including warranty or how's that work? Yeah, it's, it's, the Honda is a three year, three thousand hour warranty. Yeah, I did see that. Uh, Volvo had a twelve month. Okay, the Hyundai is what three three what three year three thousand hour for the Hyundai. Yep. And the uh, Volvo was twelve months twenty five hundred hours. Because you you definitely want to go with this emissions no matter what you buy, you definitely want to go to the three to five year warranty because yeah. the emissions are killing everybody. You, from a from a taxpayer perspective. You would always want to drill into the low a little more and justify why Much mobile beat it, why mobile beat it yeah. and, or find out you can't get better and stick with a low bid and maybe you add in extra warranty that bumps up that 137 yeah. so maybe you're at 160 then you're starting to worry about the trade value i have no idea of any of this stuff what happens in 10 years or 12 years when you try to throw it in Both 
stays up there no, and runs. I have no idea about there. how you get there, but a the level of comfort or they call it that was a guy John Barry, I guess, that sells equipment all the time. He would know off the top of the John head. Deere does, oh, Case uh, does. Not the vendor, it's the reseller. Yeah, John Barry. Uh, the turnaround. Ryan Tibbetts. Yeah. Tibbetts, yeah. He might be able to, might be able to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, you're, let's say you pay 137. I can't sell that for more than 50 in 12 years. Mm -hmm. Just his experience. Yeah. So then you're losing $80,000 where Volvo might lose 20,000. I mean, we're the definitely point, not the first choice was on. Volvo. The second choice was Cat, Cat, Cat and then Case. And then the Case. No, Volvo Case Cat. Volvo no. Case Cat Case Cat Case Cat, Cat, Cat Case No Cat Case Cat Cat Case. Who said oh again? No, it's you get it here. To, to move this along to the focus in where, where you're at, you need to come up with questions, maybe for the low and maybe for low. And go back through the matrix, your own concerns, and either bring them in individually or send them an email saying, can you answer these follow-ups? And including a tidbits call potentially. And then put it all together for a best view. Jason tidbits. No, Brian. Brian. No. There. You have I a dog in Underhill. Look at this uncle. He's down south of Mary. Yes, he is. Okay. I did have a George Underhill, yes. So, you know, do we want to talk about, even begin to discuss the financing? We know we're going to have to finance something. Well, the financing <laughs> is a uh, stealing from Paul and Peter kind of question. Because right. The, there's nothing planned in 22, which is your current year, out of that 160000 that we put away every year. It was intended to build for the greater. Went up right. three or four years, so you sort of borrow now to do this purchase. Graders coming back up three years. I think it's twenty-seven. Wow. Yeah. So it's amazing how quick this equipment does come up. But anyway, that's the, that was what twenty-two was sort of intended to do. If that doesn't happen, you can take a loan out, and when you get to the greater period, but if you don't want yeah. that. Exactly. Then we're going to be well over two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, but with interest rates right now, we might want to borrow. <laughs> Who knows? Wait, what? What? So with the interest, interest rates rate. low right now, we might want to borrow. I don't know. It's going to go back up. It is. I know, but that's if we do borrow now and not borrow for the greater. And thinking the interest rates Who are knows? going to skyrocket. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Right. But they are really low. Borrow now and save money, and then maybe. Yeah. The interest rate is going to be here. I bet it is. That's a good idea. So, I don't know. But again, this is, yeah, we the, you can't predict interest rates, right? But they are pretty damn low right now. Yeah. It's low right now. Jump on board. Yeah. We have the greater end of 400 after trade. 400 after trade. Nice. Those things are low. And $190 for another tandem. And that's next year. No, that same year. 25. Oh, FY25. But they've already got a fire truck coming up. They've already ordered. Yeah, it's no, just highway. Yeah, it's just highway. We got fire, big fire. That's another one. This is 2025. <laughs> the tandem that she's talking about is year 2025. Though. We just ordered one just barely. We already just went for 2022. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, three trucks in a row 23, 24, 25. Nothing in 22. So, you know, we're, we're booking those. Uh, 190s, so it might be a little less than that with good trade. With the, the trade that actually happened, we'll get back, back to 150. If you, if you can get them, right? Yeah, better by them. Yeah, yeah. We actually hit the no purchase year right with that big delay because we didn't have one planned and we don't need one in 22. We can actually wait to 23, which is what the yeah. vendors told. Dave, you brought up the uh the thing about the um, machines being able to work in our road, um, you want to you want that to still happen as far as having them uh, bring those three that they chose into the pit and try to make a. Why are you going to the pit? What do they need to do in the pit? Get out there and ditch while you got the machine. They might it was maybe brought up before. 
That's why I'm, I'm bringing it up now because it's brought up. Uh, You've got the machine, man. Go for the ditch where it's going to be ditched. There's no better. Then you do an actual work. At eight o'clock in the morning, the driver's all gone on these back roads anyway. They're all the work. Now you don't, you don't know one might like the, the, the twist better. Yeah, you know the, the, the angle. Right, right. So we'll pick a stretch of road then, and then well, try. Whatever. I don't know which one they got to be ditching on, but they know what roads they got to be ditching on. Get them, get them ditched. Get them, you know. You're going to stand that excavator up in the pit, and there's going to be two guys standing there watching that guy just dig a hole. Could you set the trucks again? Could you do the center road culvert with our test equipment? Yeah. Right. <laughs> go, go up tomorrow and get rid of that definition. No, Not we don't. I don't need an excavator for that. <laughs> okay. I think that crew's going up together. They talk and signed a couple of trucks. And yeah. One man. So, 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 so put a truck with each one of the excavators or a couple of them, get them down there, and then uh, uh, let them try out each one of them down through. They could switch whatever they need to do. And then, if I want to be there to observe, make sure that uh, they were operating and staying within the line, they want to be there, whatever, you, whoever, we could all do it and be done with it and figure out which one's the best. Uh, Zero turns, the best. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. There's no tail off. Yeah. There's no zero on the Hyundai. That's a compact radius turn, not a zero on the Hyundai. And I, I'm not so sure on the Volvo after 28,000, they make a zero turn. They do? I don't know if they do. I don't think they do after the 28. That's something we're going to check out. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you get some back, maybe you want some back. Okay, so what happens next? You got to make a choice on drilling into the two lows, you know, the Hyundai versus Volvo. Okay, a lot more information. Okay. Yeah. I, I really couldn't get good information from either the dealer or the salesperson on the Hyundai yesterday or today. Today, I guess they're talking to them. Well, if it's not a zero turn, does that pretty much take them out of the ballpark anyway? Yeah, yeah, I would say. I would, you know, I would, you know, what I would do on that, I would have Mark ask Jason DeJour if he can get a machine so we can try it out. And if he says no, okay, you can get a Volvo, then with a you know, a local oh, okay. guy, and all right, whatever. Jason, where there is one of those machines locally, yeah, so they can test it, yeah. right. I mean, that's the only, okay, yeah. that's a fair way for yeah. a taxpayer to mm -hmm. look down. Okay. So when do you want it to happen? What's that? When do you want it to happen? Tomorrow. I knew he was going to say that. Right. Can't drag your feet. I know. Right? We've been talking about this for six months already. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that to me. You know what's going to happen. <laughs> Do it. I think I proved it a couple times already. Do it. Right. Yeah. So you want to, uh, I'll get to, uh, I'll talk to Jason. Go in the machine. And then I'm going to, um, once I get that information from Jason, then uh, uh, we're going to want to try out the Volvo and the case and the uh, short. I don't think. Or what? Sure, Scott will have one up here. That's what that's what the salesman I spoke with. They didn't have an issue with getting them to us. Yeah. I think they give you a couple of days now. Oh really? So how many days? So how many different ones are we going to get up here and try? Two. We'll get the. Do you want you want it to be the Hyundai and the Volvo? Well, that's the ones we're really. I think so we've got narrowed down some point. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I just need to know yeah. so I can yeah. tell them. Yeah. You get too many involved. It's, right. I know. I tried. Five or six loaders over there. You forget what the first time you try yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> the only time you might start going down the list is if there's a problem with those two. They don't want either of those. Right. Well, yeah. the Volvo yeah. was the first choice. Yeah. I know. I'm just, that's the only time you keep going is if the first two right. start. So, so I'm going to talk to Jason. I'm going to find out if you can get one. And then, uh, and then as soon as I know, then I'm going to talk to uh, Scott and uh, Perrin and see if I can. Uh, uh, get him uh, headed with. I don't think Scott will have any problems from the sound of what my I talked to him before. No, they and then we'll get him here and get him tested. They usually have a part on the site. 
You, you want you want the result back by Saturday, right? Yes. Okay. All right, that could be done. Well, not too late. Uh, Friday by four. <laughs> Before no. <laughs> <laughs> And you, oh, want, and you want it in the matrix, right? <laughs> it is what it is, but you know, the summer is burning. We're burning daylight fast. Now, if they can't get a Hyundai, should we go for the cat? So we still have two that they're trying out? I guess that's up to you. Because right. you're not be, sure I if they have one. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Right. Because if, if you can't get a Honda, because you're not sure. That, would we want to get one of the other. That would be a question for Mark. So they're, I so they're testing out. So, oh, no, I, I, I go with Ron's mentality. On yeah. That. I think. What's going to be the trade in in the five years between the cat and the Bobo? Cat's good. I'm not saying Bobo is a bad machine. You know, that is a good machine, but cat's got a good name, too. Mm -hmm. The prices are pretty close. The, the cat did have a really good warranty. They had the best warranty. Oh, really? Oh. They included with that price. Yeah, yeah. So that's only six thousand dollars more. Yeah, it's about like a fourteen. Well, uh, let Brian team thing, and then yeah, and then oh. if uh, Honda can't get a machine, then we're gonna go to the cat. Go to the Honda. Uh, go 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 on cat. Go go on cat. Brian Don, he's got good nose. I've learned to take good notes. When the board says something, then I can go back to it. <laughs> I wrote it down. You told me. <laughs> Get it over. Get it done. Yeah. So that's and that's that's the financing question that we have is you're gonna borrow from one and deal with the other one later kind of thing. I I think chance is right there. I do with the interest rates being the other option is we can go for zero percent. You're in your pay you know, I think. I know. <laughs> I think it's two or three percent. Really, just that I was right. The state program is two percent. Two percent through the state. Two percent. Uh, commercial is three and a half. But they want to the state. Well, the county will be like that. So we'd have to do some cash. Well, can. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys heard that? That uh, if we borrow from the state, it's uh, two percent. Two. Okay. And but they only loan up to how much? 110,000. 110, so we'd have to use some of our capital or whatever to finance the rest of it. But all, all of the banks have it for. I know. Really? Yeah, that much difference. Okay. Uh, one and a half point. I would have thought it would have been. Do the math here. Just right, here, just here, this year you're talking about the bond there, borrowing thing for the paving was 227, I think. Four months ago, five months ago. So, but I have somebody do the math and see how well that comes out as far as dollars. If we did borrow it all instead of Jesse, put that down on a piece of paper, you can do that. No, I can't. Ali, <laughs> I need my, my 10 key. <laughs> I can't do anything in my head. You know, the cheapest way don't always shift the end up. It's all she needs. Exactly right. Here. Give I heard my name, but I missed what I'm supposed to do. Oh, you woke up. You woke up. We're talking about financing. Where's it going? Oh. And if we if we borrow, because the state will give it to you for two percent, and the bank or the bank was three, right? Three something. Yeah. Three something. And the difference if we how do I explain this? If we if we borrowed the the one ten at the two percent and then took the rest of the money from the reserve, so there's that mm -hmm. fine. But what if we borrowed all of the money and took nothing from the reserve and did the cheap did the higher interest rate? If there's that much of a difference, am I making sense? Yes. Yeah. Well, what, what, yeah. what return are we getting on our reserve? Exactly. Probably zero point one. <laughs> no, she's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting anything. Yeah, no, checking it out. Just Do we know the exact yeah. amount that we're looking to find yet? I'll say one seventy, just because one seventy. Yeah, just for that gives us an idea. Just for yeah. an idea. We have twenty five thousand on the trails. We're going to go get her. Yeah. 
<laughs> and we're sure. looking for the dish. You sound like you're across the road, Valley. Huh? Yeah, she's over there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like you're in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> okay. So it'd be roughly 145 that we would be financing, correct? Without with using the reserve. Unless you look into it, like you explained. Right. Well, what's in the reserve? What do we? Yes, but then I want to know what it would be if we didn't use the reserve and what the difference would be. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, it depends on how much you want to finance. Well, we just said one seventy. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're doing, just figure out the financing for one seventy. We don't touch. We don't touch anything. We pay for the trailer and I'm doing some math here. Okay. Very good. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> That's right. Okay. When you talk to Jason, I think he can get trailers. I think town over there bought that trailer from Jason and he got a pretty good deal. Well that might be get a package deal. Yeah. Good, yeah. Good, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Men got that trailer. On to the town personnel policy. Oh, Ron and I had such a good time I'm, going through all that the other day. <laughs> you guys missed out. <laughs> Woo. Um, so basically, I don't know if you guys looked at all the things that we had changed from things you guys had yeah. pretty much adopted prior to me being here. Um, and the thing Ron, that we want to talk to them about tonight was kind of combining all of the time off that's not ETO and kind of just lumping it all together as all hours. Like you're not specifying if it's jury duty or if it's this or it's that. You're just combining all the hours and making ETO. them just well, no, it's this stuff isn't is the non earned time off, right? Yeah, that we were talking yes, about. Yes, ETO is the combination of vacation and sick. sick. Now that's what we did that years ago. Mm -hmm. Then we have a, a little spreadsheet. We tried to list out all the other time off benefits. Right. And that adds up to a whole bunch of other hours yeah. that are right. going called bereavement or holiday. And jury. Or right. Jury duty. Right. Civic right. duty. Civic duty. Yeah. All sorts of. How do you lump that together? I mean, the bereavement, you can lump that together because you'll use that. When a certain family member passes away, if you put yeah, that for every year, then you get it. That's no, the, you don't. You know, you lose this if it's not used. Right now. Right now. Right now, you lose it. So what you do? Let's say you have a three-day max for agreement. It can happen any number of times in the year, so it's not maxed for right. a year. Hopefully, the, oh, gotcha. it's, it's by right. event. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And if you were to put that into, oh, I think you said they call them what. A lot of companies are going to wellness. Wellness. Time. That's they just did that at my work. So it's just so wellness. Time. Nice little breakdown. Gotcha. Okay. But you give that you give the employees less annually. So if you're getting three days every I don't know, five years, I don't know, something like it's not like every year, you might get a half a day for bereavement every year. So they have that time when they need it. If they didn't want to use it. So they have to use it out of that kitty and they won't have a no, it's like a kitty, so you don't have to if they have if they have three deaths in one year they could use that time it's like it's a big it's a bucket of hours yeah but but would you have to use it for a break no you use it for wellness well it, right, you can use it anytime you want exactly for the a variety of things if you use all your time and don't keep it you get zero right that's how that and then you, you lose it correct no well that's well, the question so so the people would be smart to use it no, that's the question. Do you adjust your ETO formula so that it becomes an accrued payable benefit that you carry with you up to the 300 a year? Because we have 300 cap on ETO now. Yeah. 
or do you call wellness? Here's your annual wellness hours of say 16. Yeah. And you lose them like you do now. Right? Holidays, if you don't use them, you lose them on June 30th. Personal day, if you don't use it by June 30th, you lose it. Wellness, if you don't use it, you lose it. So you encourage people to use wellness days. It sounds mentally. But you're taking the sum of the ETO away from them? No. No. So, no. They, you're, so you're adding more time off on of it. Right. Yeah. You're well. giving them the full benefit you're, because it's going to be accrued now. The ETO formula just a little bit. You're not going to add three hour, three days of onto ETO because that's what they can get. If you're only using a bereavement once every five years, you might add a half a day to your ETO rate per year. So they have to plan for having some reserve or else if somebody dies, they're, it's going to be unpaid leave at that point. How about, uh, how about uh, with everything going on now? Oh, where the man, it used to be maternity leave. Oh, but, paternity leave. Yeah, paternity leave. I mean, that, that's a big. That's in there separately. Yeah, there's mandatory, the mandatory statute for yeah. that. There's family leave, there's short term family leave. There's, there's two. There's the big family leave, which yeah. is usually bereaves a child and birth and things. There's short term family leave, which is also a state mandate for a doctor appointments and things like that. And there's also a brand new one this that last year, last July, it's crime victim leave, mm -hmm. which is un, it's, it's unlimited for as long as that person needs to go to court, testify. Oh, all okay. those kind of things mm -hmm. where okay. normally yeah. they wouldn't potentially do that because they risk losing their job. Right. You have to give people off time for that now. Okay. You don't have to pay them, but it's it's mandatory okay. to leave time. And yeah. also for uh, mental, uh, I won't say that for yeah. if you have to take care of a, a, a family member. Family member. Yeah, look, that's, I mean, that's that would be a broader family leave stuff. Yeah, right? and the family leave stuff. That's the broader that's, definition. So yeah. you have all those things that are mandated. Hyde Park does unpaid, allows ETO use. So you up and so you yeah. use it up. Right. Yes, but, okay. But you right. can't lose. You don't lose your job. Right. You're <laughs> right. guaranteed your job in a similar position, same right. wage if you take the full twelve weeks. Right. Under family leave. The other the other leaves are short term and don't usually have to deal with that because our ETO policies right now allow people to do that four hour kid event in the afternoon or doctor appointment, things like that. We, we end our flex schedule. So a lot of people have taken advantage of the flex schedule. Right. Right. They, right. they move their 40 hours around to make room for that afternoon that they need off. So we, we have things in place that really don't force people to use the short time. You know, if you had a employer that was not giving you any benefit that's one of the few state mandated time we have to give people time off so we're even though we have to provide it under our policies we're already over and above that because of the policies that we already have in place we're not putting people in that position of feeling like i can't do anything with my family because i'll lose my job we're mm -hmm. beyond that issue but we're still required mm -hmm. so, so the only thing i didn't quite get is you have to use your time or you lose it at the end of the year. Is that the way I understand? That's the question. That's right. That's the, the, the question is, do I, I, I don't like the idea of anybody losing their time. What I like, and this is what they did over at Marshall for me, okay. is they put it in a reserve. At the end of the year, you had a reserve. When I got done at work, I had so many hours of time that, you know, because they paid you for it. They paid you for it. And you didn't lose it. But if you force these guys into taking their time at the end of the year or they're going to lose it, they're going to take it. But if you had a reserve, they might want to build that reserve up right. for down the road. You know, if somebody ended up having something serious, right. they needed a couple more weeks of, you know, time. Mm -hmm. They could go into their reserve. Yep. I had a reserve. I say I got reserves a lot. And I'm I'm just the opposite. Of it. I don't I don't like seeing building time. You know, carry from year well, to year to year. To year set a max. They don't want to take a away from me. Was yours was yours not capped or was it capped? In a certain it time? was capped. It was capped. 
What a, see these? I can't these, remember what it was. It was almost five wellness years. days. It's it's not it's not like your ETF. <laughs> she was active. I'm going to kill somebody in my family so I can take a few days off. I mean, I'm not. They aren't exactly the kind of days um, that you're going to use that way. I mean, I, I I don't I don't see how. I'm getting to the end of the year. I haven't used any of my wellness days. What are my excuses, if you will, for using this? What right, because it's all based like Ron and I. Yeah. We discussed supervisor approval. I mean, they just can't say I'm taking, you know, six wellness days off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. They're, they're they're not not scheduling issue. Yeah. Well, there's there's a scheduling issue, but it's what you can actually use them for too. Depends how you set it up. So if you if right now it depends because you have to qualify those hours. Like every have some event right now. Right, right. Under the, what we're talking about is getting rid of those qualifying events and just having people manage their hours they get every year for the for their needs. So, so you're saying there's a separate little bucket of wellness days. You're saying I want to go fishing this afternoon, so I take it off and go fishing. I can draw out of that bucket. Absolutely. Because I need a break. Yeah. You, know, you don't have to say you don't you have to get it. Yeah, you have to get approved. You don't yeah. have to say what it is. You just say I'm taking a wellness day. Right. right. Isn't that what that ETO time is for? Yeah, ETO, ETO is there for that too. This issue is more related to getting rid of all the other time off that we already grant people and, and putting it into an undefined bucket. I think Jesse even suggests the holidays should go in there because everybody has different things about holidays lately. Right. Because <laughs> like people celebrate Hanukkah, some people celebrate Christmas, some people, you know, celebrate Juneteenth, some don't. Like you kind of with people's different right. religions and beliefs, right. even holidays, we have to be sometimes careful on, right? Like making sure that you're making sure every employee feels the same way about holidays, you know, because we all have different, you know, everybody has different beliefs. So I mean, so, how many years are talking? 40 hours a year? Probably. Is that what you're talking? Uh, we have, within the yeah. holiday world, right? Right. There's uh, 88 hours a year now right for holidays which well, those would get used because they do your that. juneteenth holiday which is a discussion item is would make it 96 holiday hours a year yeah. which is 12 days yeah the bereavement is three per event which doesn't equal three a year that's right less less than a day probably a year on average uh, same with civic, which is your voting rights to go and vote in your national or local elections. You're supposed to let people leave. So we do all this stuff as a matter of just normal business, but right. there are some employers that have to be told, you have to let I'm leaving to go vote, and the right. employee has a right to do that. And that's, mm -hmm. we don't have, we don't have that problem. So even though we're talking about it, it's, like, right. it's kind of strange, but anyway, that's that. Uh, we hold their open until 4.30. No, they're open till eight or five. Yeah, eight, seven. 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 <laughs> we had eight hours of personal time mm. that would go away at June 30th if we didn't use it. So we have a lot of June personal days. But you yeah. can't say they don't use it because anybody's going to use it. Everybody's going to use it. Yeah, they're, they're, not, paying, they're, yeah, they're, they're not paying attention or they just don't right. have the ability. To take I would. Now, uh, now, with the holidays and stuff, it's mandatory to take a holiday. I can't say it's Washington birthday. I ain't got nothing to do with more work. There's no mandates on holidays uh, in the sense that there's three floater days. So three of your current, oh, right. three of your current uh, holidays, holidays out of your eleven right. are floaters right. holidays. Right. And there's they can use them any person. Right. Any time. Yeah. But what I'm saying is a holiday, a holiday. If, if, if uh, I'm not busy at Christmas, so I'm coming to work. Well, somebody true. might. If you're you thinking extreme, I'm okay, <laughs> talking <laughs> to some <laughs> Most businesses will do a core group of holidays, but they right. not. Right. The main ones. The other ones have all been added on or don't have as much significance or get moved. You know, all those reasons. So yeah. we're, we're trying to think of if you want the town to shut down on a holiday, <laughs> what are those? five holidays, six holidays, the rest are floaters or grouped into this wellness thing. So even though you have a bucket of time, part of that bucket is these five mandated days for holiday. The other ones you can take it 
a day for Hanukkah and Christmas, but you have those five days off where we're just shut down, no exceptions. Yeah, the, the only negative I can see on that is if you had Lubbock when the holidays are shut down, if they had five that's a shutdown, there's six times four, there's 24 days out of that summer, they will be shorthanded more than they are now. What is this for the this isn't for the well, these, are, these are not employee choices. These are town choices of when those days happen. You have to get pre-approval for everything, but so everything, everything else is, is unionized until they have to go by that up there. Yeah. So they didn't I have to leave them out of that calculation for so many years. <clears throat> we wouldn't do it at the detriment of the operation. So if somebody says, um, I need time off, and they have this bucket of hours, they still have to go through a We've right. got tax bills going out for three days. Nobody's leaving here for those three days. It's still an employer run program, not totally at the employees. You're still asking just like when you ask for vacation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's parts we got. We, <laughs> we, we just talk about it's it a little bit. And it, yeah, it's yeah, part, right. part of it is really just how things have progressed to the point where you know, it used to be every store shut down and every, you know. We, we went through the July 4th. There was very few businesses shut down on July 4th. Yeah. yeah. Almost everybody was open, you know, on that Monday. On the 5th, right? yeah. Which is really the holiday. So I think it used to be very traditional to have you shut down hard. Well, the 5th, yeah, the, the 4th, I think it was the actual 4th was different. <laughs> right. the, the 5th is just to give the person the day off because it fell on the weekend. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think even even when the fourth falls on a Tuesday, most stores are open. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah you know yeah. that it, it is. It's right that although all those habits have changed, so it's yeah because we want to decide if Juneteenth was going to be a floater, right? A floating holiday or not, or if it was going to be a standard shutdown day, because that's the new that's the new government holiday. Juneteenth. So we have that as a holiday now. So should we make that a shutdown or a floater? You don't have to. Oh, true. It's we don't? Oh, it is optional. But that's what I'm saying, Jesse. A shutdown, the crew's off. A floater, you got four days off. Correct. Just add it to your invitation. That's what you have currently. No, three floaters right now. No, right. no, no. I mean, four, you've, got, you've got four days people working short compared to one day everybody shut down. Oh, so you, we shouldn't even make them floaters anymore? I, I'm saying any. Any additional floaters, that's any, what you get. Yeah. Any you said if you're shutting everything up, what you get is everybody working short. Oh, so keep Juneteenth right. as a shutdown. Right. Got it. And they're all gone. Right. Right, that's that's definitely that what you run into with a small group. Right. Yeah, if you had, you had forty-four people on there, you can understand it. Yeah, take a slack, right. but, and you lose twenty-five percent of your yeah. workforce right. for four days. And even though it gets into having you be approved, so why else, don't you make the other floaters shut down? down? That's what I would like to. Oh, what are the other floaters? President's Day. Well, town meeting can't be because you're the everybody girls work. Works, everybody works anyway. And yeah. usually they're plowing, right? So that one probably yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. probably a tough one. I think Columbus and uh, President's Day people have used for like the front of Thanksgiving. Right, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. That makes sense. Right. Christmas Eve. Yep. So those so are be totally from that. Yep. Yeah. So those, right. yeah. those, okay, those make sense then. Right. What are the big decisions did you confront in the policies? Or is that the? I hope that's enough. <laughs> no, all the other things on your list that I'm sure I know you all read <laughs> and, yeah. and you look through the policy. I have. <laughs> yeah. That was it. 
Well, the, yeah. the next step that next we were step. talking about doing was having a a directed uh, request to the town attorney to look at the personnel policy because it's five years old now. Look for problems in there or red flag issues like something that totally conflicts with current state law that we just never we realized that well. changed. Or the reverse of that, things that we should have in there, making sure are in there because state laws change, like the crime victim benefit, yeah. leave benefit. Uh, any specific questions you all have to address the specific questions, and pretty much be done with it after that. So it, you know, not having your our team look at the whole thing comprehensively for commas and periods, but to uh, look for basic statutory updates and any questions that the board has that we want to look at more. Probably more than half of these changes you've had, you've already discussed in prior meetings in the last five years. So it's not, it's things that we just collected to make sure that the policy is current. And the other half of changes were stat were laws. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, a bunch things, of them were statutory changes. Things that had to be put in. The one we just talked about is a new concept of the wellness day versus right. breaking them up into these other. Uh, the town attorney would produce a strike version for you to look at it again, so you actually see all the wording in front of you for the whole, you know, thirty or forty page, forty pages or so. You can read that Friday night. Can you get it on video? <laughs> <laughs> can I want to read to you. So that's your that's your timing when you want to turn it over right. to the attorney. If you want to do it now, then we you know talk about this again when we get her recommendations. Or uh, wait and add some questions to the next meeting, and then we'll send it out after August. Yeah, I think I, you know, because it'll take time. If you go ahead and give it to the attorney, obviously we haven't made a decision about about the bank yet. That's a good thing to think about with them. But that that will be a major change for the attorney to you know exactly to, to get through all the other stuff to get it to get it updated. You're right, but. Bank of time is that's an interesting idea. We at one time we talked to them about about pooling time we need to, to create that kind of reserve. So if somebody were really ill, there would be you could give the time. Yes, so exactly. And it was a big, but they, they couldn't they didn't figure that out. I, I again that's sort of a great program that a lot of particularly larger companies have, but I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but you, you the really difference in how you hire can collide the companies. Well, yeah, no, exactly. It's not... Like we take for we take for holiday that you had folders. They could save folders, right? That's sixteen days, right? You know, if they all took him, that's six, and they only work four days a week. That's one month out of the summer. You're gonna be working for Yeah, but they have those folders now. The, the, holiday, yeah. the 11 holidays there's three floaters and eight right but i i mean not mandatory uh washington birthday so oh, has a floater have that a day off uh oh i thought we just decided we were keeping those well you can't well with with the with the union contract we can't just go change that sort of thing so well, the union contract will rule on its own. The, the, if the union contract has uh, things in that aren't in the policy, the union contract rules. Right. If it's not in the union contract, right. this rules. So we right. they, they, they operate together. There's really no conflict. Now, there's a vacation thing. Isn't Doesn't the town have a policy, no vacations between November 1 and April 15th? And on the union contract. They use it, don't they? Yeah, we have a call. They're on call. They're on call. Right. But they can't leave. Right. I mean, if they have a vacation, they can't leave the area. That's what you're saying? No, they can't. No, they can't. There's Only no, dog damn long call from Florida up there. There's no, there's no, usually they work at it. 
Yeah, so far they've worked that. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a uh, don't pull the tooth before it rots, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it hasn't been an issue. Don't put the cart in front of the horse. No, I like the tooth thing. He used that once on ash trees about five yeah. years ago. Yeah. Don't kill the trees until they're dead. Yeah. I believe they, they, they want I've learned more sayings. <laughs> Be the new person, you'll be the judge. So oh, they wanted to go and cut every ash tree in the town of Lake Fire before they rot. Okay. Well, they won't rot. <laughs> I know. Yeah. He's got this. I'm gonna be out of here by eight o'clock. Yeah, I know it. That'd be great. Okay. We okay. Oh, it depends on the ash, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, little, we got a little sign here. Okay. We are. Whoops. Okay. These are all the ones that go with it. Wait a minute. Oh, just a minute. I think they're whole. I think that bass is, is supposed to go here. She's got. Okay. That just exceeds. Let's put this. Saw that in there. I'm going to go ahead and sign it. I suppose you're going to get it to the round kennels. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I think she got hold. And usually everything that goes with that. You know what you say. Can we pass this down? I think so, yeah. I think that's so neat to wish you could have all laid out like that, Allie does. I mean, it's all organized, right? Yeah. You know, just because she's on doesn't mean you need to suck up. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm making a statement. I think it's great that she's got that all laid out. Like you look 10 down on that, and you go 10 down in that pile, you'll find them. You'll find it. Yep. Waiting for me? No. No. I'll call her. I just look for good stuff. You want to really get something? Okay, we'll yeah. see that all you zoomed in or what? Mm -hmm. Oh, that made me mad. I would never do that. I'm going to count it too now. <laughs> this, this is just all the stuff that goes like that. She just comes out with, here's the one you have to sign. Oh. I saw that thing going to the sheriffs and, and that group, I mean, they're just, he's having a terrible time and it's all, it's all about the retirement thing. It's all totally about the retirement thing. He's to retain help. He's, he's yeah. losing another two people and it's totally about the retirement. I had to sit down and figure out. So they have not with this group. Not this no, they're an F, which is thirty years. Thirty years. Uh, and and no, one of them going to Marshall. And nobody. Uh, another another one's going to Marshall, and one is probably going to Fish and Wildlife. Oh. Fish and Wildlife. Mm -hmm. Hey, the state's going to get retired. Yeah, so you can't compete with that. Fish and Wildlife have to retire at fifty-five. Okay. Oh really? We got this. Yeah. Maybe I should go to work with that. I retire right from the start. There you go, right. Um, um, did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Okay. Ellie came out of the closet. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Um, when, when we put the roof on, 
Grand Hall. Guyana or, River Valley. Uh -huh. Guyana Valley Hall. Did they put the roof on there last year? Two years ago. Not the porch. On the porch. Well, it's on the porch. Uh -huh. Just look at the price on it. It's here. Okay. Was, uh, just look at the price of it. The porch was a lot less than what the, uh, I think it was 50 grand or something like that. Uh, right. uh, right. That roof right. on that other one. I remember that. Yeah, see. People want to. Yeah. 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 This is our new June 30th. This is all last year. I'd be messing that up. See on top. So so this is year end. Correct. Correct. So you can tell if there. If we were under or over budget. Yeah. Can't wait to look like this. I'm gonna geek out waiting. So yeah. <laughs> it's always good to have somebody on the board that likes to do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nope. That. And I, Ron, you have the original that I need to sign for Shannon to get. There's one in the packet. Yeah. Well, we'll just sign that one. I think it's a pretty clean copy. So page two she wanted to sign. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine if you want to just take another one to go to log in and okay. You know, Now I'll fix you by giving you the phone. I'll put the whole thing on here yeah. so you can take the thing out so I don't rip it to pieces yeah. when I get the same yeah. one. Yeah, make it look nice and neat. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I think we got all that now. Other business. Which is you want to do Beam Road? Sure. Right, say I opened it up and it was a light bulb. Okay, it's working for me. <laughs> See, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it was last fall when we last talked about making sure that something resolved on Beam Road. There's a, a series of roads we've been working on practically for 10 years trying to get the town right away. Either the town crew was told to plow, they thought they were supposed to plow, the developer was supposed to uh, dedicate the road to the town, but never did. All sorts of different reasons we have these hanging right away issues. Beam Road being one. So Beam Road, the town's plowing past the end of the map. And found, they found a turnaround that everybody's agreeable to for the last who knows how many years. Technically, the town takes those right aways by regular maintenance. Not always the best location. So we're beam road anyway. We had Matt Reed do a survey of the existing road, the existing right of ways, 
the limiting factors like underground utilities and culverts and buildings. And he sent over the weekend a sketch of all that stuff. What's going to happen in the end is that will become a road survey that will be recorded upstairs. And that will be the new town road and we'll plow at the end of that new turnaround. Wherever the new turnaround is decided to be. The plan that was sent out shows, and I don't know, if, I think everybody's had a chance to walk Beam Road or at least get out there. Mm -hmm. um, you go up the from Garfield Road, go up the hill, then you come down the other side here to the left. Go down another few hundred feet, and there's a turnaround area by a shed. It's owned by Gary Smith. The plant that Nat Reed drew up shows uh, a new turnaround before you get to Gary Smith's farm. After that first house on the right, which is Sherry Heckler's, and a flat area that seemed to be away from utilities and culverts and ditches, and was a good spot, except that the best spot is on. Guy named Garcia, which we haven't even talked about yet, is not using the road in that section anyway, and may not be agreeable. So that, this is the beginning of a process to come up with what's best for the road. Then you start to bump up all all the things that might give you a different. Say that they flat. Yeah. The only other option up there, based on highway crew plowing, is to not go over the hill, stop at the Clark's driveway. And then make a turn around there so that the plow would go up to the almost to the top of the hill, turn around, and go back down, which does a couple of things. It, it prevents the public from going past there. So technically, those neighbors could actually gate the road at the end of the town road if they yeah. really wanted a private road. It doesn't let the plow trucks go in there for their discomfort, making the road wider and a bunch of snow pushing and public maintenance is sometimes not as friendly as. Uh, Local contractor maintenance on those smaller roads. Right now, the neighbors have asked us to continue to plow, make some improvements to Beam Road on the way down the hill, and we haven't got to the point of view of how the turnaround is going to be. That's the discussion that everybody needs to have. There was ditching, if I remember right. There was culverts that had failed as you start down over the the uh, top of the hill there, and you start to go down, and there was culvert that uh, was totally full in there there was um yeah ditching it wouldn't need to be done and then there was some drainage or something if i remember at the bottom right uh this lady that uh <clears throat> um deanna Atkins takes care of i guess or something out there uh we're supposed to talk to her about uh possibly what's going on with that drainage here and then i think somebody mentioned that it was Mark or Matt Myatt that uh, put that drainage in and got to get some history on it. But if we stay up toward the top of the hill, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. I'll take that to a boy. <laughs> how many, how many <laughs> tap do we have down here? Down by three. So this isn't a town road. Yeah, it is. I would admit the spur. There's a spur. If you, yeah. if you come over the hill, there's mailboxes that you start to go down. Right. And three houses to the left. I think two, yeah. you know, two or three to the right. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Five down there after the because he didn't walk, and he didn't walk it to keep turning around the right way. His shed. He wanted to turn around back way toward the Jerry's house. Yeah. And I think that's where the you're going to. You try to stop that up the hill. There you go. So. We have to invest in the ditching and and then the re looking at the current drainage system that's being used there um, to be able to make sure it handles the, yeah. the water flow that comes down off that hill. We have to replace the culvert, at least one in there up from the top. I don't know if he shows that. Well, where, where, where does the town road stop up there? Well, you're right, right up here. Up at the top of the hill, right? See right here, yeah. Yeah. See what it says. Uh, let me go right. Oh, that, that's that's way back. According to the here town there. road, you went down to the end of the beam road. And then way down to the down to them. them. That's the traveled beam road. The trip where the beam road goes. Now they had a right away that extended off the end of the town highway there's a little right away that he put end of road which is near sherry's corner i think 
to say end of beam road. Yeah, it says end yeah. of beam road. Okay. So we'd have to have Matt clarify where the legal right away ends and where we are going now. We're definitely out of anything up when we get to the turnaround. We're, we're on private property, which we never got any easements for. The 50 foot and 30 foot easements that are noted on there, uh, I don't know if those are granted to the town or to the owners at the end of the road. Even though they exist as right away, I don't know who owns the right away. That's something Matt's starting, starting to get into. In one essence, it really doesn't matter too much because the town has the ability to take the roads, lay out new roads, negotiate with neighbors to lay out a new right. So you can rewrite whatever makes sense for the long term, but we want to do this once. So right. It's a one-time shot to spend some you know, energy and town, town time on it to fix whatever you guys want to do. If you want to give up the whole beam road, you can start that process, but you get a lot of pushback. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying, but that, don't think it's not an option. It's a political problem to yeah. get rid of town roads. And right now you're dealing with a six or let's let's call it five, maybe six residents past Clarks that you're really talking about. You know, and, and a hill. And a hill is another problem. It this is the hill. top of the hill. This is coming down the hill. This is this as you wander further and further out with the woods here on that on that. Here, road. I guess where maps have to determine where, where the right away is. Yeah, where's the where's the town road and he, here? He I mean, does here, once we this get to the, the point of way. trying to fix it. Let me just clarify one more. The turnaround's not a good spot right now. Where do you want the turnaround? Is the first question. Show me on there. Right where, uh, that where uh, I'm pushing everything right against that guy's building. What's his name? Yeah. My family lived there. I can't remember the one. The one, where's the pond, anyways, for the Clark's Clark or up here? Yeah, yeah, so that's Clark's shared pond back here, and then it comes down into here. And then they currently are turning around, uh, right about in here. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah, that's the that's the turnaround, that's why it's big. Yeah, one. where is what's town road and what isn't through there? So back up here, right, is is where the town road ends, right here. Where was that on the agenda? That, that's it was added. What's that? We talked about in the beginning because. That so those people have been on a private road we've been taking care of it forever. Separate. There you go. So we're bitching about this little piece of road across the street. This was on the list. This has been on the list of, with everything else. It's not, it's but not the same. a hell of a lot cheaper than this one. Well, we haven't even got to the price of what this is yet. <laughs> the other one, we were almost done figuring out the price. It's not that bad. Oh my God. I did all this up to Elmore. <laughs> I did all this. Up to, and you should have seen going and trying to talk and negotiate with the with people up here to try to figure it out and stuff. And I made some progress, but uh, uh, it took a took no, a for, for, say, for some for another difficult road we had for this be about one twenty fifth of this cost. <laughs> oh like it. Well, okay. Well Bill and I we going down our little road. We made a mistake years ago and you know Not you know, to do it all. Uh, well no we did it and, and then they started saying they said this and that. That's fine. You're right. It's private road. You go on it's private road. That's fine. I mean, they did like once a year they'd come down and grade it or something. And they'd be like big stuff. And it's like the Jackson was fine. And like understand that. Susan, this is what we got third before you go down your road and take one up there. Same with the You take a look. Yeah. So this is yeah. what right where the chicken farm and other yeah. 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 So, so everything after that's private. Uh, no, this is the, the this okay. is this is that the end of what we thought the town road was right at the top. Of the hill. Yeah, Clarks and Clarks is in right, here. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have an old town road that's yeah. off that. Yeah. 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 And yeah. money. And then you have what was called the private road yeah. where the plow was. No. Yeah, where the plow was. Right. To the two or three houses down here. One way down. So the state of Vermont. That's where looked at records. You gonna get Thomas from this? State of Vermont went ahead and did a. There's no more Thomas. No, no it's the 2020 map. <laughs> of the oh, time okay. I was okay. once we get to eight on. Okay. So you get to the top of the hill and you yes. come down. Yeah, and that's the end of. That was too. Mm -hmm. I got, I got Adidas. Yeah. So this was just updated last year. It doesn't get to the turnaround. 
So we need to turn around. Gordy just hit it once. There's a path. Oh, okay. There's a bike path that goes over to Silver Ridge. So it's sort of like one of those questions of do you, how much time and effort do you put in there? Do you back it up and save some money? Doing the high maintenance of a class three road, which has never been done, because talking to the neighbors, Scott Griswold and Gary Smith, they would say, don't plow, don't grade. Yeah. They would try to manage as a private road with our highway crew. Mark French mentality is it's either a class three road, which I treat pretty much the same way right. under NRGP, right. Right. or I get out of there. You know, that's just it. Word. He, he really can't operate a highway crew with 18 different ways to manage a class three road. Right. Yeah. But that's what's happened over the years. So not only do we have a lack of a turnaround, we also have a very low level of class three road, right. which doesn't really work with tandems. You have to adjust what trucks go down there and all that stuff. Put the, put the turnaround where the high maintenance class three standard ends. Call it a public trail, call it a private road, call it something else after that. Beam road extension. <laughs> so, Done. So this this question tonight is that's the background story. The neighbors have been waiting for that draft survey because they have their own concerns that they want to make sure they've asked for continued maintenance just the way it is, but short enough turnaround. Turnaround shortening up involves Garcia, who's not really involved right now as a property owner. I don't even know if he's aware. I mean, we haven't reached out. He wasn't there that night. Yeah. So I would, you know, anybody that's on here would get a copy of it and have a chance to come to August meeting or set up a special meeting just to continue the discussion. The goal being that the legal and survey right away stuff is done before winter. Right, right. That's the goal. I think usually that is a lot easier if we go up there and meet, you know, then it, it just, you know, when, when, sure. we, when we reach that point, uh, you, you, you look get at a, it. You get a greater understanding yeah, of yeah, the cost yeah. and whatever else yeah. we're going to have to do. Yeah. Get it to here's, here's where the options are. Instead of trying to get all of them down here. Yeah, but I can send the information. A lot of the copy. Right. A lot of ditching, and then you take the ditch material, do your turnaround, put it down to where your turnaround is going to be, you fill out it, so, you know, and then put gravel on top of that, gravel picture across the road. But the, yeah, uh, the uh, one thing I think that we're concerned about is where to get rid of the water coming down that hill. That, the, if you went down to where the current turnaround is down there and you look back up, um, that would have to be ditched out there. How do you get rid of it? And then it came down to the bottom and then it just turned right there and it wasn't anywhere to get rid of it. They thought about putting a culvert across and then tying it into the pre-existing drainage at uh, this this lady had on her property and try to tie it into that somehow if possible but uh i think we just we would have to talk to her. but when we get up there you'd be able to see yeah it. yeah i can coordinate a site visit with the neighbors and just throw yeah. out a yeah uh, friday afternoon Friday, thursday i'm going to bring in the hamburgers what day works for anybody better than any other day saturday morning saturday morning probably work best for me. But, yeah, I think, yeah, I think a lot of times Saturday mornings probably works best for people out here. Probably for them too, yeah. 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 Like a nine. Yeah. yeah. You get out of the hammer, you're gonna bring Dunkin' Donuts. Right, they're in coffee. We can do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that works. <laughs> you fall asleep. Well, I'd say, see if it happens. Yeah, that's right. Tell them what they want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Just not yes. Yeah. Okay, we got it. No, no problem. Okay. All right. Now he can't have that anyway. Okay, y'all. I can't eat it anyway. So I just need a quick motion on the Zofar loan. The Zofar loan is was paired with the Harvey loan. Harvey loan was paid the retained amount for Union Bank in the account to service the loan. Right. The minimum is reduced from five thousand to one thousand because of the lesson. Actually, so they're managing twelve thousand, I think. Um, so Kim wanted a motion to approve the reduced retainage from five thousand to one thousand for the so far. So second. 
Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Anybody abstaining? Okay. Some announcements. So we got the. Okay, the uh, ice cream socials next Monday. Monday, twenty six. Yep. Hopefully that will be nice weather. Um, and and we're we'll work on the twenty first of August being a, uh, a celebrating health in Hyde Park, and uh, <laughs> people are excited to do things again. So and the library is going to do the book sale, and Roger's going to come. We're going to make sure that car seats are in safely, and uh, they're looking at a couple of food trucks coming. And there's going to be music, and there's going to be checking blood pressure and health education and all that sort of stuff. When's, so when's all the home? I was just going to ask that. that was well, I, I I don't know if that will exist. They wanted them because, and and again, it's you know, it's this group getting back together and they're trying um, the ice cream social first to see how that goes. And when I came in and talking about this, they said, "You can take." I said, "No, I'm not thinking." <laughs> no. I said, "No, no, we're not doing that." But this may ultimately turn into a yearly event that's just a little bit smaller and and does it that way. You know, we'll just sort of see. I I, I put the home. Home day on the whole until we get that road fixed. There ain't nobody can walk. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. That's my way. Yeah. Jeez. No, no, they just don't have the people. They're, I mean, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. I say, okay, we got enough people to do the do the gas cream social. All right, let's try that and see how it goes. That's a good small event, manageable. See what happens. Do you can get hired on full time, or how is that working? Uh, I haven't heard yet. It was going to be part of the probation period ending after August 1st. So that wait to August. Yeah. Right. We don't have to, but I might ask Mark today if he wanted to wait and said, yeah. Hmm. So I could bump into Mark French tomorrow and talk to him. I think Mark just put me off. Put me off. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I, don't, I don't have a sense or any problems or anything. I asked no. him. No. No. Mid, mid, midpoint, I asked yeah. him if there were yeah. any issues. And I, no. no, no, pretty good. Just so. Sorry. Getting it all done. Okay. Anything else? Uh, the knotweed. I just want to mention that oh, the right. knotweed yellow signs are around. If you drive around, you see the yellow sign, I've the red, them, yeah. red X thing. That's, those are just locations Mary's worked on and she's monitoring those. She's also started to work on the Gamble property in North Hyde Park to start to beat that. It's a pretty highly invested whole half acre or so the town owns. There is a nice spot in the middle with nice grass that you can't see. So if it was reclaimed, I think the lot would look a lot better. Uh, did you call her on? I did. I did. Yeah, and she's already checked in with him, and he said he'd be happy to have her. Good. And and she was get just to be sure because they have another spot right across the street. Yes. That they yeah. Found. She, she said so. She's just going to transport it that short distance. And she's talked with, because to move anything around, you got to get the agency of ag and she's gotten a verbal permission from them. Even they're happy to see somebody okay. taking on something. So I go, she's doing a good job. Okay. I know it's very yeah, to see them. They, ha they have a, uh, this is just the little yeah. bit Which that they're taking happened? down on the Warren property. Literally growing into the ditch and blocking the field. Well, so a couple of people are complaining about how many of these are JJ's. Yeah, and when we went up and looked at it, I said, you can't see it. So then those are I know, I know. And she said, I need to talk to him. Uh, I need to pay attention more to it now that I know what it is. Wait, 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 Oh, so yeah. had uh, but I don't know if it didn't do the permitting and stuff he's trying to deal with too. Or so I don't know if that takes. Uh, did more stuff open the roads? Did more yeah. stuff open the roads to ATVs? It's it's like they just pretty much wasted, did you go to uh, meetings? wasted yeah. area. He's yeah. taking all yeah, that. Yeah, because he's taking all 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 that. Y
Uh, that's going to come rolling in our direction. Okay, anything else? We can adjourn. Awesome. Anything else? No? Any, no? We're good? Okay, motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. I'm going to oppose. So I want to. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to stay longer. So.